Hello, I'm Mitch from The Shop Incorporated. This video is to explain the geometric shape of an aluminum lapping disc for sharpening clipper blades with a hollow grind. To make a flat aluminum plate have a convex radius to the lapping surface, it's machined at a slight taper or angle. This disc has been machined at a slight angle in this styrofoam prop it exaggerates the drop or the the angle or taper to the lapping surface and what that does is makes the disc like a cone shaped like a cone that's almost all the way flattened out and as a result you have a straight plane in line with center line if you were to draw a line over the center of the wheel, this surface is straight, a straight flat plane. Perpendicular to center line, however, you can see that there is a crown or a radius to the, to the surface. And when grit is applied and a blade is sharpened on the disc, it will grind a hollow or a concave grind into the blade. This cutaway of the wheel and this section removed from the wheel to represent the area where a blade would be sharpened shows it a little better you have the, the straight plane in that direction and you have the radius in that cross section. So as the blade is held parallel to center line and stroked back and forth, that radius is lapped into the body of the blade. The amount of this radius is determined by how much drop, which is a common way of describing how much the taper is on a disc, and also the location from center that the sharpening is being performed at. As you can see, the cross section of the radius at the outer edge of this disc compared to the cross section of the radius on the inner edge is quite a bit different. Now this is exaggerated because of the steeper angle but there is that, that difference even on an angle appropriate for hollow grinding a clipper blade. So to get the most uniform hollow grind staying in one one particular area, one radius area, it's going to have less variance in the amount of hollow from the outer edge of the blade to the inner edge. The amount of hollow that a person wants for a particular blade is determined by the angle and also how far from center the lapping is going to be performed. For instance, if I wanted this amount of hollow or crest uh, transferred into the, the blade, on a 10 inch diameter wheel and also the same amount of hollow ground into a blade or lapped into a blade on an 18 inch wheel I would have to machine two different degrees of angle or amount of drop between the two wheels to achieve the same result.
Now as the blade is being sharpened and the hollow is lapped into the blade, the profile of the blade as a result of it should represent this straight line across the tips of the teeth and the side of the blade would represent the curvature of the surface. And this is revealed after a blade is sharpened and it is rubbed on a test plate and burnished and the high point should be the tips of all the teeth and the back of the back rail. Now if the shape of the wheel is truly represented that should be an equal amount of burnish down each tooth all the way across or a straight rub pattern. 